how how can one know with 100% certainty as Bhagavan seemed to realize at the age of 16 that I will never die we all know with certainty but we will never die but that is we all have a sense of our own immortality that is why now we're all our bodies are getting older we know death is coming closer and closer and closer but still does our own death ever see or seem realistic to us yes we know the body is going to die but does it seem realistic to us that we are going to cease to exist bhagavan said this this sense of immortality is there in all of us even in the midst of a battlefield when a soldier sees his comrades falling uh, 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 falling all around him he, he, ben, he and though he may be feeling fear for the, all the danger but somehow there's that sense i will not die i will not die now i will not die now because we know there's that there's that deep inside ourselves we know ourselves to be more immortal because what we actually are is immortal but mortality is only for the body so long as we are um as we are identified with this body in other words so long as we rise as ego we mistake ourselves to be something that is obviously mortal so we are the ego is a state of confusion the immortal is mistaken to be mortal but what is aware is mistaken to be what is not aware this body has no awareness but we take this body to we who are aware this take this body to be ourselves so ego the very nature of ego is confusion because we are taking one thing to be another thing of a completely different nature so the fear of death will always be there that that is the fear of death and the sense of immortality live side by side in ego we have fear of death and at the same time we know ourselves to be immortal so we're in a state of confusion if we want to be free of this confusion we need to remove this false identification we need to be aware of ourselves as we actually are when we know ourselves as we actually are then we what we actually are is eternal it's it's beyond time it's not even it's not even but it's ever existing it's uh, because if you say ever existing that implies time it is it's eternal in the sense of it is beyond time and that is what we actually are but we can know that only by investigating ourselves and experiencing ourselves being aware of ourselves as we actually are so the answer to all questions ultimately is the same we need to look within and see what we actually are and seeing what we actually are means being what we actually are